Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Appa in case you guys are new here and this is the part 2 of my top 11. I should actually say top 11 because I did mention 6 I believe in the other video. One, two, three, yeah, 6. So top 11 <laughs> eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore or from Amazon. I am putting the title like drugstore slash affordable because like I said, not all of these are available at the drugstore, but they can be found on Amazon and most of us have Amazon or, you know, eBay accounts. So I feel like it would be appropriate to just share it with you guys. So this one is the Makeup Revolution Edition. Like I said in my previous video, I am a big Makeup Revolution fan and one of the items that I always purchase from them is their eyeshadow palettes. They do a really good job for me. They're very, very affordable. I know some people are like very against a makeup revolution. Um, there was that drama with Tati and uh, Kiki Channel back in the day. I think that was like two years ago or something when she didn't like the Emily palette and then another YouTuber called Kiki Channel. She, is it Chanel or Channel? I don't know. I think it's Kiki's channel. Anyways, uh, I still watch Kiki's videos. Uh, she's a very real person and basically what happened that one time is that she responded to Tati's, you know, video drama about Tati not liking Emily's palette and there was a lot of controversy with that so because of that reason because of like mixed reviews i never ended up getting the emily palette because i was like if it's not performing well for some people and it's that the consistency is just not there then i'm just not gonna you know buy that palette but i still watch you know tati and kiki both kiki's a very good you know like lifestyle vlogger person and she also does like a lot of makeup videos as well. So I really, really enjoy her content as well. She lives in Chicago and Chicago is a beautiful city. Anyways, so uh, that was me rambling. Let's just go ahead and get started. The first eyeshadow palette that I have here for you is the Reloaded Provocative palette. This is kind of what that one looks like. And the inside of this is obviously, you know, more pinky and um just really really pretty and yes this is duping the naked cherry palette you guys i haven't used it as much but the times that i've used it i do really really enjoy the color scheme and the formula is just amazing the mattes are very very creamy you cannot go wrong with seven dollars you guys i mean come on this is really good for you know the price and I'm someone who doesn't always want to spend a lot of money on makeup as well so I really like that Makeup Revolution targets a lot of people who can't afford you know really high-end brands and I'm a student girl and I don't have a lot of money okay so really like Makeup Revolution Revolution Beauty whatever it is um, I feel like they're related but they just have the same website so I just call everything Makeup Revolution so yes this is the dupe of the Naked Cherry palette if you guys are interested in checking it out I would highly highly recommend this palette the next palette which is actually from the same line the Reloaded collection and this is the Reloaded Neutrals 3 now this is a recent purchase as well along with the the other one that I just showed you and uh, the color scheme is a little bit different here um, this palette does a scream fall to me a lot of warm tone colors a lot of really dark shimmer shades as well you can kind of just tell like that's pretty dark and that gold is very dark and I really like uh, playing with these really really deep colors I feel like they just look so good during the fall and winter time so I feel like I just really have come up with really really great looks with this palette and you just can't go wrong with it I bought this on sale you guys for about three dollars can you believe it and I was really happy for it and I heard another youtuber talk about this palette and I was inspired to get it so 
really really happy that I purchased this I just enjoy it during the fall and winter time quite a lot and even during summertime with the gold and everything I feel like you could use that palette quite a bit so if you love fall and winter like I do and like those deep colors I think you would really like that palette now the next palette that I have here is another reloaded palette and it is the velvet rose palette as you can see I have used this one quite a bit as it is so dusty from the inside and I'll show you what the inside looks like look at that like that is just so dusty and so beaten up like it's kind of bad but I really absolutely love this palette you guys this is again duping uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. Yes, the Soft Glam palette. Maybe, maybe I'll just put a picture towards the side so you guys can like see what I'm talking about. And I am gonna do like an eyeshadow dupe list, like an ultimate list video eventually. But I really love this palette. I have used this like pink shade, these three shades quite a lot. I feel like those shades are very unique. And there's so many dents in this palette not go wrong for seven dollars you guys and absolutely love this palette it is like my go-to for clinicals and yeah I'm I don't know why I'm smiling so much but I just like love this palette so much this is just like not going anywhere so that is the velvet rose palette the next makeup revolution eyeshadow palette that I have here is from their jewel collection I believe and it is their opulent palette yeah I really like this packaging even though I'm not much of a silver person I'm more into like rose gold and gold but holy crap you guys these are top shades I really don't want to blind you so I'm gonna do this these top shades hopefully you guys, you guys can see are so soft they just kind of melt on your eyelids like I'm not even joking like they are so pretty I will just do some quick swatches I don't know if this is like an exact dupe or not, but it just, I know the second shade is looking a little bit funky and I think it's because I just didn't do a very good job of like swatching, but trust me, it's there. It's like a different color scheme, like it's one of those, there's a term for it, like monochromatic or I don't know, it changes color. It's one of those shades and that's why it's not picking up on camera but absolutely love this uh, eyeshadow palette this entire line i'm pretty sure is pretty good so i would highly recommend checking out this line again this is the jewel collection if you want more of a pinky tone in your collection showing it to you again because it's just too pretty you guys and really really like it and would highly recommend this opulent palette and the last palette that I have here for you is my Soap X Extra Spice. I've talked about this multiple times. I've done Get Ready With Me with this uh, particular palette. This is another palette which is very fall type of palette. You know what I mean? Fall and winter. Palette is duping the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice. I know I know a lot about like dupes and stuff sorry about the glare you guys the glare because of the packaging because it's super duper shiny so does nails is the youtuber who came up with this particular eyeshadow palette this eyeshadow palette is on sale right now for like seven bucks I got this when it was twelve dollars so I would highly highly recommend it it's just a really nice um, fall slash neutral slash smoky palette as well because it does have like a couple of green shades towards the end here and you can just create smoky looks with it as well and i just love this palette and yeah i love makeup revolution i have a makeup revolution problem most of my eyeshadow palettes are from makeup revolution i wanted to split this video because i felt like makeup revolution itself just deserved a video on its own so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm kind of in a rush today i have a lot of things to do i have been doing a lot of chores around the house and i also have homework and other important things to do so i'm gonna go do those things and I probably will edit this in February because 
I have been vlogging and I need to edit that vlog and upload that by the end of January but I've already filmed and uploaded a video for next week. I've been like filming a lot of videos ahead of time because I know there can be weeks where I'm just like I can't film at all so I just like to film ahead of time to keep you guys entertained. So thank you so much you guys for watching and uh, like comment subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.